prematurity is a very serious health problem. According to the WHO, it is the leading cause of death in children under the age of 5 worldwide. This short documentary is investigating the causes and effects of prematurity and ways to mitigating this huge burden. Every year on November 17, the entire world will come together to raise a huge awareness about babies that are born too soon. Maturity Day has been chosen of as a day in, in a year in which we bring prominence to the issues of the preterm baby. That's the baby that is born before the time that is anticipated that the baby will be born. Every year, an estimated number of 15 million babies are born too soon. A number enough to double the population of a country like Zimbabwe. The subcategories of preterm births, according to the World Health Organization, are based on gestational age. They are extremely preterm babies, very preterm, and moderate to the preterm. Those that cause the greatest challenges are those that are under 28. Worldwide, any pregnancy that is below 22, 23 is difficult to save. The mortality for the baby is almost 100%. This is baby Jason Adeyemi and his mom. He was born at 28 weeks of pregnancy. He also had a complication of blood guts, clinically turned to denial atresia. Despite this and the refusal of the parent to allow post-surgical blood transfusion on the grounds of belief, the baby, as fondly called Miracle Baby, survived and lived. Within 10 days of starting working, we had a, a referral from a, a leading hospital in uh, Lagos, a woman who was 28 weeks. 28 weeks gestation means that pregnancy, the developmental age for that pregnancy will be 26 weeks. This may not always be the case of the over 800,000 babies that will be born too soon this year again. You know, the faith of the premature baby in, in low middle income countries is quite sad because most of them do not have a chance to live. And I think any baby who is born after 26 weeks of pregnancy does really deserve a chance to live because has been proven in the developed world and particularly now with a lot of new advances in knowledge, in technology that we can support these small babies. Have you ever wondered what exactly are the causes of premature birth? In this country, the number of uh, Babies born before 37 weeks that I've seen, they come mainly from patients who have pre-eclampsia. Now in pre-eclampsia, the woman has hypertension, the blood pressure is up, she also has proteinuria. And when there's a combination of this, the woman is in danger, she can die from cardiovascular complications and uh, because of the disease that they have, the treatment for that disease involves the delivery of the woman. 
particularly if the preeclampsia is severe. At that time, we are going after the safety of the mother and actually overlooking the safety of the baby. So if you have to save the life of a mother at that stage, you then deliver her. And when you deliver her, it means the baby is going to come before 37 weeks of your station. Apart from this, there are other causes that could be responsible for preterm birth. So the second set will be those who have what we call cervical insufficiency. Uh, some of them are detected and remedies put in place, but those remedies are failing. And so they are going into labor before 37 weeks. For example, if the cervix is insufficient, what we used to call cervical incompetence, if it is properly diagnosed, an obstetrician will put in a cervical sacrifice after the 12th week of pregnancy. And that sacrifice will be removed at 37 completed weeks. Now, if for any reason there is a complication after you've been started in the stage, like the woman rupturing her membranes before 37 weeks, you have to remove the stage. If she goes into premature labor before that 37 weeks, the contractions of the uterus may cause that stage to cause a lot of harm to the cervix. If she contracts against the stage, you put in place. So you remove the stitch and then the woman ends up delivering before 37 weeks. Those are the general. Having said all these, it is important to note that your child deserves to live. Join the team of professionals to tell the world that your child deserves to leave. Hi, your child is really precious to us. Hi, your child is precious. Your child is precious. Sorry, sorry. Your child is precious. All babies are precious. Your child is precious. Your child is very precious to us and too young to die. Give your child a chance to leave. Havana, 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 my heart is in Havana.